Hello, and welcome to a cardboard coat check or a board game bag check, whatever we want to call it. I am Mo Tuzano, the tabletop bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Today we are checking in a package that just arrived yesterday. Uh, this is the Quiver Citadel Premium Deck Block from QuiverTime, quivertime.com. Uh, this is a premium card protection, card game, card protection unit, I guess we'll call it, deck box in a way, deck block they call it, but deck box type of thing, um, to hold your cards and supposedly room to hold some more things. So first off, I'm just going to go through, I got to admit, I like the packaging. I, it'd be kind of cool to see this in store shelves. There's a good sign. Looks pretty good. We got some notes on the side. It says uh, fully full versatility with vertical and horizontal card setup. So we'll try that. We'll put some cards both ways. Smart organization with dice and token compartment. That sounds cool to me because a lot of the card games I play have extra components. Easy reference wipeable label with slick glow in the dark feature. I doubt I'll be able to show off the glow in the dark, but I did grab a dry erase marker to test out. Quick, smooth and safe magnetic opening and closing. Cool. We'll check it out. Fully de detachable cover that can be used for card stacking. Okay, that one I'm not sure. I don't know quite how you use it for card stacking. Maybe I'll be able to figure that out. I am, I will admit, I fully admit, I am not a card gamer. I am a role player and a board gamer who sometimes plays games that involve cards. I used to play Magic the Gathering back in the 90s, but that is not something I've maintained or kept up with. Um, they have convenient use with finger space and transparent divider for easy pickup and ideal for tournament use. Uh, there's a bit more info on here for questions. You can go to uh, contact at quivertime.com. Notes that it was designed in the UK, made in China, etc. Some pictures on the side. It does list what it has. Uh, it has one black PU leather box with velvet interior, one fully detachable red PU leather lid, one transparent custom made acrylic divider, and a black elastic band. Then this one's important for you card gamers. This is what it's going to hold. 100 double sleeve cards, 130 ish single sleeve cards or 60 plus or 130 plus i should say 60 plus double sleeved plus the divider plus dice and tokens or 80 single sleeve divider plus dice and tokens on the back you've got all basically that information again in other languages which i am not going to be able to repeat for you so that's all we got we're going to get to it i'm going to dive right in here uh there is tape holding the top together here but i don't see anything on the bottom that might be the easiest way to open this up so what I'll do is once I get this going, there we go. We're going to tip everything down so you can see what you get here. All right, empty box. We'll recycle that. So here you have a Citadel. There's the label. Oh, yeah, those are nice, strong magnets. I'm going to see if you can kind of see the amount of force that's required by how much it pops. And you can kind of hear the snap. So magnet off the top. Here's the elastic. So there's another magnet here to hold on to it. Uh, we got the Quiver logo. It's nice. I got to admit, everything by Quiver just has a really, I don't know, fancy look. Everything looks very professional. Professional is maybe not the right word. High quality look. Now this, I don't know. I don't think there's much purpose to this other than holding everything together and making sure it stays together. That definitely snaps on nice. Again, here, let's, here's a good, you can see how well that clips on. Inside, we've got a thank you for your purchase. I gotta admit, that's not the best look, having a bent card in your card deck box. So that's something they may wanna talk to their manufacturer and try to get that card put in a little better. That's just a bad sign. Like if I'm gonna put my cards in here, seeing that on top is a little disconcerting. Or maybe it's a little too long for the box. Uh, so this is the warranty and the warranty card and so on. Register within seven days. Then we've got something that fits a little better. So there's a nice scan to win. All right, we got a contest there. Oh, I probably shouldn't be showing off my QR code on uh, on, on the internet. I right, was so a thank you for your purchase. If you're th happy, uh, please leave us a few words with a web address. Um, reviewers help other customer reviews help other customers like you make start buying decisions and also drive us to keep going on. I totally agree as a content provider. If in any way it's not happy, also contact us. Cool enough. Then we have the plastic divider. So we have the inside of the case. It's a bit more light on this side. So you can see the box there. It's felt lined. That's a really nice touch. And this fits in. 
So this has something on it. So I don't know if there's a scratch or something on that, unfortunately. Looks like the coating's cut. So the coating is cut on this insert piece. I'm assuming that is just for the dry erase, but that's not gonna impact protecting your cards or damaging your cards or in any way. So that slides in here over top of your cards. It's a tight fit, but you know what, it works. Uh, this is worth knowing, the finger holds. That's really nice, be able to get in there. So what you probably can't see is there's a lip on the inside for the stuff that goes in the bottom. So this does not go all the way to the bottom, which will give you a compartment to put stuff in, which we'll check out in a second. So then you got your thing to go over top, holds everything together. I'm not gonna do it, but supposedly this will help keep your stuff together. One of the concerns is though, if this falls, it might open. So that's what the elastic's for, which is a pretty standard four part elastic. Toss that on there. Now you can go outside, play baseball with your cards. The elastic's fine, fits inside the box. Could go into that bottom compartment again, nice quiver logo, I dig that. I like the overall aesthetic, that's a nice look. Okay, I will thank Quiver Time for pointing out that the plastic is just a cover and can be removed. So that's just the, the plastic coating that shouldn't be on there, just to protect it. So that comes off, so we'll do that. Because I gotta admit that looked bad, so here we go. We take the plastic off. All right, that makes way more sense. Thank you for the correction. Much better, much, much better. Nice, clear, easy to see. Now we'll toss that in there. That works. Oh anyway, yeah, we'll get this stuff out of the way. So one of the things I'm personally curious about, um, I'll have to check out someone else's video about how you use this to stack cards. It's not something, I don't know. I saw some of the pictures had it sitting like this, but I don't know if that means anything. I'm not sure how exactly you use this to stack cards. Figuring out which way this goes is gonna take me a bit. There we go. So one of the things that's supposed to be cool about this is that it works with this, which is the Quiver from Quiver Time. Uh, premium gamer luggage, basically, a way to carry your card games and cards, which I gotta admit, I'm a big fan of one of these. Fan of these, we've got a review over at tabletopbellhop.com. If you go to reviews, you can see it. But I'll tell you right now, it's positive. I dug this. So one of the things that this is supposed to be good for is it works with this. We'll check that out in a minute, but what I wanna do is steal some cards from in here. So in here, there are two really silly games, board game things that you can get that I have a lot of fun with. And it's something I bring with me every board game night. And the first is Start Player. So you get to get some extra advertising here for Bezier games. And this is a silly game where you play, the, the game you play before you start the game is determine who starts first. So I dig this game, but part of it is it has this Start Player meeple. And one of the problems is if I just throw this in a, a deck box, it's gonna damage the cards. Well, we're gonna try to toss that on the bottom here. And another game from the same company is Tiebreaker. And that is for if you're playing a board game and it doesn't have a rule for a tiebreaker, you play a game of tiebreaker to see who won. And that also has a large meeple in it. So we're gonna to toss both of those in the bottom. Then we're gonna throw this thing on top, which it slid in. So you gotta be a little careful that's going in flat. Fair enough. Then we're gonna to toss on the cards. All right, these are on sleeve cards, so that's worth noting, but that fit nice and easily. They slide around a little bit, but what do you expect? The one thing I thought was cool is I could put them in this way, or, how the heck did I hit the belt? All right, I could put them in this way. Obviously putting them in this way isn't gonna work with that insert, with the parts I have underneath. We're sticking out a bit here. But that's fine, because I can put them this way. I might even be able to put them in this way standing up, but we'll try. So I'm gonna throw those in there, then we can just wrap it up. Now, I have Start Player and Tiebreaker with both the meeples in a box. Now, I'll admit, Start Player and Tiebreaker aren't games that cost me a ton of money and cost a lot of things, so they probably don't require this level of protection. But you know what? I could probably run this over with my car and not worry about those getting damaged. But I like the fact that there's a spot to put the meeples in the bottom. So the other thing I want to try is supposedly this is dry erase. So, all right, didn't quite fit, but there, I got Start Player on there. Now I don't have Start Player on there. Excellent, dig it, I love it. That works great. Now another thing is supposedly cool. So we'll open this back up again. All right, see, I gotta learn which way is up 
so yeah, where it says quiver is up. So starting from here would be better. So I don't dump everything. We'll take this off. This piece also should work with dry erase. And one of the recommendations I saw was keeping score. So say we are playing a game, you could use this for tally marks or well, you're not gonna be able to see this. Well, I got a red one. We can put tally marks on here, right? To keep track of score, cross them off. And again, I should be able to re erase this. Great, perfect. No, nice, really nice. That worked excellent. That's cool. So we'll take these out. Let's see how many cards. Can I stack this way? No, you're not gonna be able to stack up, but you can stack this way. So there's an example of cards stacked, whatever you wanna call it. So another thing I wanna try is I have these quiver inserts, which you can get. Look at that, fits perfect, right to the top. That's cool. So that's good to know. I don't think this comes with any inserts. So just to fill this up, we're gonna grab some Star Realms cards and toss those in here too. All sideways, there we go. We have Star Realms cards. So the Star Realms cards are more CCG size. So you can see the comparison. Start playing that aren't normal sized. And I don't normally sleeve my cards, but I knew I was gonna unbox this today. So we're gonna try some sleeves. Easily fits, it's, it's a tight fit, but that fits as well. So now you can see smaller size cards, smaller size standard, you know, collectible card game playing card and sleeve cards there. No problems at all. Again, wraps up this way. Um, what you can do now, I assume, is put this on top. All right, putting this on top doesn't actually work with the divider. So once I toss in a quiver divider, I can't cap it. Without the quiver divider, I should be able to cap this. And close everything up. There we go. Cool. All right. One last thing I want to try. Here we have my quiver. Here you have some of the premium deck boxes. Supposedly one of these will fit in a quiver. So let's see if we can get this to fit in a quiver. Just take out some of the dividers. Oh, a few more dividers or cards. There we go. We got it in. No, not that way. Let me get some more cards out or take the, what's easier? I take these out? Yeah, I'll take the cards out. That's a tight fit, but I think it's gonna happen. Yep. There you go. Right inside my quiver. Definitely don't stick up as much of these. I thought that wasn't gonna close. Very cool. So, um, you don't need to watch me clean all this up. I can do that on my own. I have some lonely free time cleaning this up at the end of the video. So that's, that's about it. That is a quiver time. You know what, put the elastic on here. Citadel deck box, deck block. I wanna say box. I'm used to saying box. My head wants to say deck box every time. Serio, a quiver time quiver brand citadel deck block very solid piece of gamer luggage uh really impressive quality nice solid my cards are extremely well protected in here i like the plastic divider that's really cool fits in there really nice i like that i can have a compartment on the bottom for bits like these that'll fit under there if i played role-playing games there's a place to put my spell cards and my dice underneath um big fan of this little window glows in the dark supposedly i can't really show that off but being able to write on that is a nice touch. Erases well, goes on there well. Nothing to complain about here, as far as I'm concerned. Um, if you have high-end cards you want to protect that you're worried about transporting, I think that you're not going to find anything better than this, except buying maybe a lockbox or something. Very cool piece of, of swag here, in my opinion. Nice card holder, cards fit two different directions, holds quite a few cards, tried it with sleeve cards, tried it with smaller cards, tried it with regular cards. All good, nothing bad to say. So that's it for this. Uh, this was a Quiver Time Citadel deck box. I am Motuzno, the tabletop bellhop. You can find my content all over the internet. 
Uh, just look for Tabletop Bellhop, one word on social media, or head over to tabletopbellhop.com. The other thing that would be awesome is if you hit up our Patreon at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping the bellhop. That's it for today. Good night and game on.